Fiddlehead Hunting, Part 2 Apart from wild leeks, fiddleheads are perhaps the most sought after. Wild green in springtime by foragers and purveyors of wild food. But how do we know that they're actually the ostrich fern? There are some dangerous look-alikes, but the ostrich fern is pretty unique in its appearance. So always be sure, and if you're not, make sure you get out on a walk with somebody who's qualified. Ostrich ferns love being under the canopy of deciduous trees. They enjoy 30 to 40 percent light every day. Moist soils, but not too wet. They don't like being constantly wet. So right here, although it's hard to see from up here right now, there are a lot of fiddleheads. That's uh, right here. I'm going to have to move some trout lilies to get at this one. So ostrich ferns grow from what's called crowns, which look like gnarly pine cones. However, in this case, the ones in this area are covered in moss. The fiddlehead emerges, and the fiddlehead at this stage of growth is called a crozier. From the crown, and each crown should have minimum four, four to six, I would say, to be safe, fiddlehead growths. Never take more than three from one crown. If you do, you're going to damage the growth for next season and possibly even remove its ability to reproduce for next year. Let's see. Oh, well, it's kind of dark. The sun's not working with me right now. Sorry, folks. There we go. I think I've got it. It's hard to tell. I've got a huge glare. Okay. We know that it's covered in brown chaff as they emerge. The stem is smooth. I'm going to try to get it from the other angle. The stem is smooth. And if you can see, there we go. The stem has a U-shaped growth, similar to celery. Now, once you have discovered your patch of fiddleheads, why would you want to eat them? Let's look at 100 grams, which is about a half cup serving of the fiddleheads. You're going to get 25% of your niacin, 12% of your riboflavin, just over 70% of vitamin A, 44% of your vitamin C, 16% of your copper, which is really important because this is a micronutrient that many people are deficient with. And it also contains a lot of other minerals. Now, let's talk omega-3. We all know the importance of omega-3 in our diet. Looking for more. The type and concentration of omega-3 fatty acids in ostrich fern croziers are very unusual for vegetative growth. In fact, they have the most complex fatty acid spectrum of any edible green plant. According to Naturopedia, fiddleheads have a huge list of medicinal values, which goes to hand in hand basically with the high nutrient values. Apparently, according to Naturopedia, they can help with symptoms of macular degeneration, cancer, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, inflammation. And they can help with our blood, our cardiovascular system, our ocular system, the immune system, digestive system. Pretty much 
pretty much our entire body. Uh, here we go. We're getting into a little bit more here. Look at that. Beautiful. So there you go. Just remember, folks, when you're out here foraging for fiddleheads, please always leave minimum, minimum three per plant so that we can have these for generations to come. These will stay in the fridge up to two weeks. They can be slightly blanched and kept in the freezer until you can get making some soup with them or incorporating them into your daily diet in other ways. Oh, and the best time to pick these, by the way, isn't when they're growing up to this height. It's when they are right down low, shortly after they emerge. And there you go.